What is up friends? My name is Laura. If you've never visited my YouTube channel before, welcome. I am on day three of a backpacking trip. What a perfect time to not show up at the camera looking good or showered. I am coming to you from the great outdoors. I'm going to be going through some of my hygiene routine when I'm actually backpacking. All right, I tried to get out of the wind a little bit, so hopefully you're able to hear me a little bit better. So like I said before, hygiene on the trail is important. Of course, partly for yourself and not smelling disgusting, but also if you're ever doing it with a group, you know, uh, some friends, one person, a lot of people, um, you do want to have your hygiene in check. And that's why there are four things that I recommend you doing that are very affordable, very easy, that you can do in the wilderness. So the very first one is something that you might not have access to. I did live in Arizona for quite a few years and there was not nearly as many lakes or bodies of water. So as you're able to see here, I am in Northern California, which is wonderful for me. Um, there are tons and tons of lakes. I'm actually right in the Mammoth Lakes area. So there are tons, whether that is a waterfall, whether that's a lovely little stream that is nice and fresh, or that is a lake. So a lot of times I do just really enjoy actually going for a dip after a long day's hike. So that is the number one recommendation I have. These kind of lakes, especially if they're going into say a nearby city and that's their drinking water. So I definitely recommend just more scrubbing down, but not actually bringing soap with you. I'm sure there are some good ones out there. If you do have one, um, please let me know in the comments below. The second thing I actually find probably one of the easiest things Ooh, the sun just went down, <laughs> um, is definitely having sweat wicking clothes. So I definitely talk about, you know, having proper gear when you're out and about. Um, some will just be a lot more expensive. Some will be just so sweat wicking. And I feel like I could go backpacking in some of my t-shirts for like, I don't know, a long time, a week, and somehow they barely have like a smell. And then there might be one you'd put on for like a run and suddenly it's just, it's not pleasant. <laughs> So I think for some of those longer hikes or you know runs that you might do, you might notice some of your clothes have a better smell to them. And so those are gonna be the ones that you actually do want to bring. Of course, something like this, um, that's not necessarily gonna be sweat wicking. This is just going to have some puff um, to it and keep me warm more in the evenings. And this is our Tarek, so this is very good quality. Um, I'm actually wearing some Nike um, like yoga pants right now, and I hike in those or an Arcteryx a lot. And then the t-shirt is mainly what I do look for, um, the actual in like ingredients in it. So ingredients? What it's made out of. Um, I do not like to hike in cotton in any way. It typically smells more, but also it's just not moisture wicking at all. So basically you're gonna be colder when you don't need to be colder and hotter when you don't need to be hotter. I also will say on this, I'm, I'm such like an advocate of don't like go into, you know, a big expensive store and just buy a bunch of stuff. Um, you can go to like a Goodwill. Um, I actually got this white shirt from a Goodwill. Um, a lot of my clothes are, and I just kind of like scout out, scout out good brands um, that I know will work. So when you are looking for those good, high quality sweat wicking clothes, you can do them very affordably. The third thing is probably my personal favorite, um, just because it's the easiest and you can always do it. And um, there are different names for it. I don't know what the technical term for it would be of the backpackers, um, but you actually will just be bringing baby wipes with you. They're not very heavy. Um, they do the trick and it, you just kind of can either go by yourself like behind in the forest somewhere, but a lot of people just will do them in their tent at the end of the day. So either you get almost naked or all the way um, and then just grab a few and completely get your body clean. Of course, it's not gonna be like, it's gonna have that baby wipe smell to it, but at the same time, it honestly will do the trick and you'll feel so much cleaner. The final thing that I recommend, which is just very, very straightforward and easy, would be bringing some sort of deodorant, or you can kind of do some sort of soap um, and do like its own little kind of quick bath away from any kind of lake. I was in Northern Arizona and at like the campsite, you could pay like a dollar and get a nice shower in. So of course that is an option, but regardless, you should always be bringing like deodorant and stuff. So. Just everyone will like you better, right? All right, I did actually vlog this entire trip. Um, so you'll make sure make sure that you're subscribed, but I just wanna give you a really quick sneak peek. At the very end of this video, like I'm doing right now, um, just to make you feel like you love na nature and recommend getting out there. So, um, okay, let's go. So this is actually the small lake. 
because it's very secluded and I haven't seen like anyone out here today um, that I kind of took my own little bath in. That was very easy. You can see, you know, there's a little waterfall. There were tons of amazing waterfalls. I'll actually include a little bit of footage or pictures here, but it was so amazing. This water is like really, really cold. So I haven't been able to stay in nearly as long as I would have loved to. Like any campsite, you technically need to be, I believe it's 100 feet off the path and 100 feet away from a body of water. And here is one of the other amazing lakes. Actually continued down there today into a canyon and had just ugh, so many waterfalls, I just can't believe. And then there is my tent. Very nice. Just very picturesque around here. I love it. If you did like this video, give it a quick thumbs up and I will see you very, very soon. Hopefully not smelling at all. Keep living life. Bye.